Hey guys, let's get more news about Miami Heat, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Jimmy Butler opens up about future with Miami Heat after Pat Riley's comments. Jimmy Butler's future with the Miami Heat has been a topic of conversation since the team was eliminated by the Boston Celtics in the first round of the 2024 NBA playoffs. Butler's desire for a maximum contract extension, combined with his availability, has created uncertainty. This only grew when Heat President Pat Riley slammed Butler in his end-of-the-season press conference. Yet, Riley said that Miami is not looking to trade the 34-year-old star player who has led the NBA organization to two NBA Finals appearances in the last five years. Amid those rumors, Butler has now gone public with his thoughts about Miami as the NBA offseason inches closer following the Heat's exit from the playoffs. Butler talked to GQ Sports' Rohan Nodkarni about his basketball future with the Heat and beyond the NBA. While the interview occurred before Riley's comments, Butler's comments were notable as he seemed committed to bringing a championship to Miami. The Heat forward was asked if he wants his number 22 jersey in Miami to be the last he wears in the NBA. Butler still feels the same way he has in previous years. I mean, yeah. In the NBA? For sure, Butler said. But then after that, I really do want to play for Flamengo, a professional Brazilian basketball team in the NBB. I tell everybody, I'm half Brazilian. I feel at home, man. I really care about the city, I really care about the people in this city. Miami has embraced me. They've wanted me to bring them something they haven't done since, LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh. And I want to do that. So as soon as I get this knee back right, I'm right back on they ass, and everybody know it. I feel like everybody gotta pass this playoffs, man. We're not going out like that. Butler is still committed to winning a championship with the Heat, and Riley's comments shouldn't hurt those efforts. Butler is a competitor and has found a home within the Heat culture, so Riley's comments should only light a fire to bring himself forward as the best competitor. The Heat are coming off a poor season where they made the playoffs, but had unfortunate luck with injuries. Butler, Terry Rozier, Jamie Jaquez Jr., and Josh Richardson all missed the final game of the first-round series with Boston. It's one reason why player availability was a significant topic for Riley. Miami is at its best when it is fully healthy and has Butler leading the way. Without the star forward, the Heat wouldn't have made the NBA Finals since the 2014 season, when LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Bosh led the way before James left. The rumors about Butler's future will be a hot topic in Miami this offseason, but until something says he isn't happy, there should be nothing to worry about. Butler and the Heat are a perfect match, and it's a big offseason to get everything right for another push to the NBA Finals. Carl Anthony Towns viewed as possible target for the Heat The ringer's Zach Cram believes the Miami Heat will pull off a blockbuster trade that would land them a superstar-level player this offseason, while mentioning Minnesota Timberwolves all-star big man Carl Anthony Towns as a possible trade target for the team. Contrary to their reputation, the Miami Heat haven't brought on a new star in five years, Cram stated in an article titled 2024 NBA Playoff Predictions, Finals Picks, Upsets, and Summer Blockbusters published on April 22. They've added good players since signing and trading for Butler in 2019, post-prime Kyle Lowry, post-prime P.J. Tucker, Terry Rozier, but no stars. That will change this summer, once the Butler-less Heat are eliminated early and Pat Riley decides to bolster a roster that has struggled through two regular seasons, and thus earned a much more challenging playoff path, in a row, Cram added. The Heat are widely expected to make a significant move this offseason following an early playoff exit at the hands of their Eastern Conference rivals, the Boston Celtics. Cram stated the Timberwolves would most likely unload several salaries on their payroll as they try to avoid paying a massive luxury tax bill under the new collective bargaining agreement. 
The NBA writer pointed out that the Wolves' dire financial situation may open the door for the Heat and other potential trade suitors to check on the availability of their star big man. Maybe they'll deal with the potentially cash-strapped Timberwolves for Carl Anthony Towns, who can give the Heat a scorer and spacer while partnering with another elite big man defender, as in his current successful partnership with Rudy Gobert. Though former teammate Butler might not want to play with KAT again, Cram wrote in the article. According to Spotrack, Towns will earn $49.5 million next season after signing a four-year, $221 million contract with the Timberwolves in the summer of 2023. Anthony Edwards' rookie-scale extension worth $204.4 million over five years will also start to kick in next season, leaving the Timberwolves with a major decision to make whether to retain the core of Edwards and Towns or make a trade for salary cap relief. An anonymous Eastern Conference GM told the Ringers Howard Beck that he expects the Wolves to break up their core and trade Towns elsewhere. I think it happens this summer, Carl Anthony Towns trade, the Eastern Conference GM predicted in Beck's article published on February 14. TNT analyst and Basketball Hall of Famer Reggie Miller believes the Timberwolves' season will rest on the broad shoulder of Towns as they try to fend off elimination at the hands of the Denver Nuggets in Game 6. For Minnesota, Carl Anthony Towns has to play at an elite level. I think he's forcing things. Miller said on the Dan Patrick show on May 14. But I give Denver a lot of credit because they're playing him with smaller defenders, and they are baiting him to play bully ball down low, and it's just not working. If he continues to shoot how he's been shooting, this series will be over in the next two games. So he's got to find a way to be efficient, has to be much better. Towns put up dominant numbers in the series' first two games, averaging 23.5 points on 64.1 FG% percent and 55% 3PT%. Percent. However, the Wolves' big man production significantly dropped in games 3 and 4, posting 13.5 points on 42.5 FG% percent and 52.03 PT%. Percent. Towns put up better numbers in Game 5 with 23 points on 53 FG percent, but he exited the court limping with 123 left in the first quarter. He checked back into the game and finished the game. According to CBS Sports, Towns reaggravated his left knee, which was surgically repaired last March. Report, Miami Heat expected to line up for Donovan Mitchell this summer. The Miami Heat, Los Angeles Lakers and Brooklyn Nets reportedly are among the teams that could look to trade for Cleveland Cavaliers star Donovan Mitchell this coming offseason. What would happen here, I think if Donovan chose not to extend, he would be able to kind of direct the trade a little bit, ESPN's Brian Windhorst said. Windhorst explained that since Mitchell has just one year left on his deal and a player option, after the 2023-24 season, the Cavs may not be able to get a premium offer. I just want to underscore this, because I have to deal with Cleveland. I'm not saying he's leaving, Windhorst said of Mitchell. The other thing I would say is the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat have been star hunting for a year now. They're always star hunting. They have some players on their roster, potentially be interesting to Cleveland, not as deep in draft picks, though, as the other ones. Last offseason, Miami went after guards Damian Lillard and Drew Holiday in the trade market, but it didn't land either player. Instead, Lillard ended up with the Milwaukee Bucks and Holiday went to the Boston Celtics, which hurt the Heat since their rivals in the Eastern Conference improved their rosters. Windhorst also mentioned the Nets and Lakers as possible teams that could look to make a move for Mitchell in the offseason. Los Angeles is trying to build a championship contender around LeBron James and Anthony Davis with James in the latter stages of his career while Brooklyn has several assets from the Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving and James Harden trades that it could use to make a deal. Houston is a young team that nearly made the play-in tournament in the Western Conference this season, and it could look to use some of the assets it gained from Brooklyn in a previous hardened trade to bring Mitchell to Texas.
Mitchell certainly has a lot of power in terms of his fate, as he could put the Cavs in a tricky spot if he decides to play out his contract and not bite on an extension offer. This season, Mitchell averaged 26.6 points, 5.1 rebounds, and 6.1 assists per game while shooting 46.2% from the field and 36.8% from three-point range. He has played well in the playoffs for Cleveland, but a calf strain sidelined him for Game 4 against the Boston Celtics on Monday. Miami, which was knocked out in the first round of the playoffs by Boston this season, could look to move guard Tyler Harrow, or guard Terry Rozier, as a primary piece to bring Mitchell to South Beach. The Heat have been a contender for several seasons with Jimmy Butler, but adding another all-star like Mitchell may be what they need to win a title with his current core. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Donovan Mitchell? Leave your opinion in the comments.